in this video I'm going to show you how to transform or refashion a pair of jeans into a denim corset. Let's get started. First thing you're going to need is a seam ripper and we're going to remove the waistband and also the belt loops. I'm going to keep the one in the middle so I'm going to remove from here and be very careful because you don't want any holes in the jeans as you remove it. The back of the jeans is going to be the front of the bodice to this corset so I'm just judging the length of where I need it to end which is going to be where this pen is representing. I'm going to draw a line which I will cut along to get the length of this corset. It means I'm going to have to cut the side seams before I cut that so let me just turn it this way so because of this rivet here obviously it's not going to give him much room to sew along so I'm going to have to come roughly about here create a cut line about here and draw a line so that I've got sufficient amount of seam allowance to work with. If you are new to my channel, I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing that already exists. If you enjoy the video so far, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get back to the video. I now want to bring in the pants a little bit because of this curve, the seat area. So what I'm going to do is cut along each side of this seam here. It's now being cut and I have sewn a seam here. As you can see, there's a hole. This is what it looks like on the wrong side. So I'm actually going to cut along here to create an open plain seam. So um, I'll think about that as I'm working through the design. But what I'll do next is sew this into position from here to there. the straps I'm going to be using the seams of the jeans I'm at the stage now where I want to work on the back of the jeans uh, of the back of the denim corset and this is the hemline of the jeans and I want this to be placed onto the side seam of the corset It's now time for me to add the hemline of the jeans onto the new denim corset. So I'm creating my own seam here by just placing it on top, pinning it into place. Then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and just stitch along this line all the way to the bottom.
for the tie in the back of this corset, I'm creating my own belt loops. I need extra belt loops really because the, the, um, the original belt loops are also part of the back. So I'm going to show you how I am constructing it. And I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and show you how I'm going to sew it. I'm now ready to sew the belt loops to the back of this denim corset and it's always best to go really slowly because there's a lot of bulk and you don't want to break your needle and I always recommend putting your pins on the outside of your machine rather than to the arm and whenever you're coming up against a lot of bulk use the hand wheel that's what it's there for so do use it down and now I can pull my pin out and then continue sewing on a very slow speed. Almost there, I've just got one more thing to do which is to do a, a strap for the back of the corset. So as you can see it's already been chopped into, I just want this gorgeousness here this top stitching. So I'm going to do the same that I did for the other one and just cut all the way down on both sides. I am done! I'm going to show you what I have done so far. Well it's completed and this centre back is gorgeous, well positioned and I've got the back belt loop. I, d I just added that section to it. And this is part of a seam of an old jeans. And let me show you the back. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, look at these. They're kind of like traditional rouleau loops, but these are obviously denim and they're not rouleau loops, they're belt loops. And it's got a 3D effect that I love. And I think it's gorgeous. So all I need to do now, so these ones are originally from the jeans and I made these ones and I just like the I like the, the contrast, the fact that this has got the jeans traditional stitching and this one hasn't. It's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna try it on now so that you can see what it looks like on my body. Okay, so I'm not putting that shit off my shoulders, but with this top, hello, I'm gonna to have to. <laughs> I love this. This has really worked. It's really nice. Um, yeah, and I do like the fact that it's got this raw edge to the top and also the bottom. And let me show you the back. <gasps> that is gorgeous. I've got to admit, yeah. It, it is. I am surprised a little bit. <laughs> um, basically because I didn't think I would actually be showing off my shoulders and going you know looking on my arms and stuff but there's one more finishing touch to it that I can also add which is the waistband and use it as a belt which I think is a great addition I can wear it both ways so let me see pop that on like so <gasps> and there we go It really has. This is what you can do with an old pair of jeans and turn it into a denim corset. And this is the result. Let me just turn around with the belt on. If you enjoyed this video tutorial then please do give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you are interested in me doing more denim projects then please put those in the comment box below because that will really help me structure what you want to see on my channel and also if you've got any ideas for other garments then please put those in the comment box as well. It's all it's so important that we are sharing information when it comes to refashioning of clothing that already exists and that's the key. Clothing that already exists can be changed and become new garments. So with that said, like I said, 
please do share my information and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.